it guys, Demon Killer here, back again with another video. Uh, this is going to be episode 11 of Mixing with Black, and yeah, today we've got something a little bit different, as you guys can see. So, what we've got is Coffee Mill Glazed Popcorn One Shot. Now, this range is new at Black Vapor, and I'll be honest, I'm quite excited about them. So, I've got three of them. We've got the glazed popcorn, and we've got the. Yeah, excuse the lids on these. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, we've got the black currant cheesecake, which yeah, is pretty awesome. Quite excited for that. And then this is the one I actually bought. Is the roasted caramel latte. So yeah, basically. Uh, Bought that one, Black Vapor hooked me up with these two for, well, obviously to do reviews on, on this channel. Um, and yeah, to be honest, the only one I'm not sure that I'm going to like, and to be honest, I probably will like it, I'm not sure if you guys are going to like it, is this glazed popcorn. That's why I'm doing this one first. Um, so basically, all of these, they have on the box here, it says, you see if you can see there, it says dosage, 10%, steeping time three days. Okay, then on the site it says two weeks to perfect flavor. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow their instructions for this to start and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up a bottle of this. I'm going to do the full 10 ml, so I'm going to make a full 100 ml bottle. Um, I'm going to use the whole thing at once. Why not? Um, and yeah, after three days I'm going to do the tasting and then I'm going to put that all together for you and release a full video. Um, so yeah, these videos for the next four weeks or so are going to take a bit of time for me to make. But I hope you guys enjoy them. Um, these are 110 Rand each from Black Vapor. And like I said, they will make a 100ml bottle. So when you work that out, I've worked out personally that if you buy a 2 litre bottle of VG and a 1 litre bottle of PG, 1 ml of VG costs you 22 cents and one milliliter of PG cost you 12 cents. So basically by the time you've added your bottle and this concentrate and your VG, PG and nicotine, well the quantity of nicotine, it should cost you about 140 maybe 150 Rand to get a hundred moles of what they call premium concentrate. So you're gonna get a hundred moles of a pretty good liquid from what they say. But I'm going to test that and I'm going to let you guys know if this is worth 110 bucks or whether you should just keep DIYing. If these are worth it, I will probably be buying one or two of these a month just to have a nice recipe when I go out or whatever. Like something I know, hey, if someone's going to try this, they're going to like it. Uh, but if I don't enjoy them, I'm going to let you guys know. I'm going to be completely honest. Um, so yeah, we've got three. I believe they've got about six or seven uh, different flavors. And we are going to try all of them, eventually. Um, so it's going to take me... Oh, also, I have another one shot that I bought, which is Fog's Famous Sauce. So yeah, I thought that I would experiment with some one shots for you guys and let you know if they're actually worth it. To be honest, I've never used a one shot before. Um, a lot of them are quite pricey. These though, the Fog's Famous Sauce, is 99 Rand for a 20ml bottle, but that you mix at... 20% so that is going to make a hundred more bottle as well for about 99 Rand on the concentrate now Straight away. I would say the price is still pretty worth it um, If you look at a bottle of premium e-liquid at hundred moles, you're looking at about 250 Rand So we're looking at about 50% maybe just under about 40% of the cost Which is great. I mean, that's absolutely something I can work with 40% of what a premium bottle is going to cost me on the shelf I'm pretty good with that and it also gives me a break, like I've, <laughs> I'm up to 93 recipes. For you guys who watched my video about a week ago or two weeks ago, I was on 70 recipes. So I've developed another 20 recipes in two weeks. So for me to be able to just crack open a one shot, mix it up, be like, shweet, let's vape that. I'm hoping it's going to be good. And yeah, you guys are going to be along for the ride. So. Uh, as I said, these are all going to be at 10%. I'm not going to do a flavor card for these because they are what they are. They are coffee mill. It is coffee mill. There we 
There it is, right there. Always tasty is their slogan. And this is the glazed popcorn. So, no need for a flavor card. 10%, 10 ml bottle makes a 100 ml bottle. 5 ml makes a 50 ml bottle. 1 ml makes a 10 ml bottle. Easy peasy, guys. So, we will we'll see you at the mix. Hey guys, okay, so I said to you that I would speak to you about why these lids break. <laughs> okay, so it was not like that when I got it. They were all perfect. Basically, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but just on the edge here, uh, just there, they basically seal these lids. You could also see it in the top in the lid there. They seal these lids with glue from what I believe is a glue gun. And these lids are actually extremely flimsy. So just be careful when you open them. Um, because if you want to keep these, yeah, you don't want them looking like that with a big ass gash in them. That doesn't look so pretty. Hey guys, I'm back. So, it is three days later. And we have our e-juice. Glazed popcorn, 100 mils. So, I'm going to put up a little thing over here. Show you guys what it looks like, a nice little close up. And yeah, let's give this a taste. So, I have the Fishbone RDA, nice brand new coils. Okay, here are you hiding my face? Go away, go away. <laughs> okay, so basically, got brand new coils, brand new wick, everything in here. I washed this out, cleaned it out nicely. So all we're going to be tasting is the glazed popcorn. Uh, yeah, and of course, of course, that's like the most typical thing ever. The first drop just went straight down the airflow hole. Like, any of you who use dripper systems, I'm sure you've experienced that before. When you have dry cotton, the e-juice just like rolls right off of it. doesn't actually soak into it. But it's okay, because it's getting nice and soaked now. Oh, and there's another drop straight almost in the airflow. Okay. Oh, man. I actually, I had a feeling I should have done this beforehand. Like off camera, so that it didn't take so long. But I wanted you guys to see that these are nice clean coils. And then I was giving this a fair shot. Um, okay, so that side is done. Oh, let's get some on this side. Yeah, soak in there. Oh man. Ooh, almost missed. But I didn't, it's okay. <laughs> So one thing I hate about tripper systems is why I like my RDTA because I fill up the tank and there's no real chance for me to mess or pour stuff straight down the airflow holes which is always a beautiful thing with a dripper system. 
is when you pour juice straight down your airflow holes and yeah that's real fun okay but anyway I think that is pretty good for right now um, okay seal that up and where's the cap over here I always have the airflow obviously dual coil all the way open so you can see there the airflow is open and the airflow is open we're running it at 50 watts on a 0.18 coil is it going to show that yeah there we go I'm pretty sure you guys can see that and okay let's give it a go I'm actually going to turn this up to like 60 watts screw it Hmm. Oh damn. That's very interesting. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Okay. So I'm totally getting the popcorn. But don't think salty at all. There's no saltiness to this. Which is why it threw me off. I was expecting it to be a little bit salty, a little bit sweet. Hmm. Oh man. It's like, obviously it's like caramel popcorn. Um, yeah, it's like caramel popcorn. But a really, really light caramel. Like super light caramel. I'd almost say like a butterscotch almost. Like a... A butterscotch popcorn. Hmm, I really like this. Um, it's really not what I expected, so I'm, I'm struggling to come to terms with what it is versus what it like I was expecting. But it's really nice, really full-bodied. Um, oh wow. It's such a unique flavor. Um, yeah, so like imagine Diddle Daddles, but with a really light caramel. Like like the caramel that's on like a really lightly coated Diddle Daddle. Like not one of those super thick hard coated ones. No, like one of the really thin coated Diddle Daddles. Has that same sort of a taste. Mm. That is really good. Okay, so the question is, do I recommend it? Hmm, I don't know. Yes, I recommend it. Yes, I recommend you go out and try it. That's the short answer. But, Maybe don't go into it expecting anything because I feel like that's my mistake right now. I feel like I was expecting like caramel plus popcorn. This is like a really light, like like almost a toffee popcorn, I would almost say. Like it has, it has more of a toffee taste than a caramel taste, like a really light toffee. And oh, I could smell it. Oh, yes, go and get it, guys. Go and get it. It's really good. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a, over here somewhere, I'm gonna give this probably five out of 10. And I'm gonna give them all a rating. And at the end, I'm gonna revise the rating because to be honest, um, to be honest, I don't know if I'm gonna like things a lot more or a lot less. So I thought I'm just gonna give this a five, but at the end, I'm gonna go over all of them as a series and I'm going to give you guys my final, final review on them. But for now, I'm going to give this a 5. But I would definitely say get this. Give it a try. If you even think for a second that the way I've described it sounds good. Oh, I, I could still, it's, it's all up in my mouthpiece right now. Hmm. 70-30 ratio, as they recommend, 2.5 milligram nicotine. Um, 
It's really good. It really is really good. I will be honest, depending on what the others taste like, I personally probably wouldn't be getting the popcorn one. But, it's really nice for a change. Like, if you're looking for something really different, like you're looking for something crazy different from anything else you're vaping right now, go on and get this, because it's definitely something different. Um, but yeah. Mm. Really good. Really, really, really good. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Get ready for the next two. They're going to be coming up. I'm going to hmm, probably have them out by Wednesday. So I'm probably going to do the recording either on Sunday or Monday for the mix. And then I'm going to let it sit until Wednesday. Hmm. Really, really good, guys. Oh, oh man. I could really get used to this.